everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bucket Plugin Tutorials. Today will be commands and uh, action listeners, which is what we're going to be doing. So, first thing that you want to do is once again open up Eclipse, which I already have loaded up and ready. So we left off today on my main class heel. And so we're going to be adding on to this. So you want to click this and you can either click up heel. Well, you can either go to new package or you can just click this little button right here. And create a new pa I mean a new package. So now you want to delete the core and instead put commands. This isn't, um, you don't have to do this. I mean, some people, most of the toys put the commands inside of heal but I like to code my, my plugins with step with uh, packages and classes to make it more easier for each command although uh, most of my commands are big commands so oh well all right so now what you're gonna want to do is click you can either click this new Java class button or right click new class and close whatever you want I'm going to call it CMD command. And now you can either add it manually or what I like to do. I click add command executor. And this is basically the way to do it if you don't want to type it out yourself. So save time. Which I'll do just for the pulpit since I am including a lot in this video. I'm going to be using these save time methods so that I can get it all into at least a 30 minute period. So, first thing you want to do is change command sendo. I always change it to sendo just because I normally change command to cmd. I normally change string to s and aug to augs. And there we go. And then you don't have to keep this. Just get rid of that. And now, this command should work but because of that let's get ready heal so now we have this heal it's all stuff and ready for us but if you remember in our main class we did this and so we're going to be using this variable to help link up the two together so above this you're going to want to put private main plugin like this and then you want to want to you're going to want to import that Just import it from our class and then now you're going to want to put public um cmd command it has to be the exact same as the top or else it will not work then you want to do main plugin and then parentheses well uh that bracket i mean and then you want to type in this dot plugin equals plugin semicolon and there we go now these are to be linked up together like this now we can start writing our command Make sure you save often throughout your work though. If there's a star in the corner, that means that it's not saved. So like, for example, you see the star up there? That means it is not saved. You can do Control S on Windows to save. On Mac, I don't know what it is. Maybe Command S. But, or you can just go up here and do save. Or what I like to do when I have a bunch of classes, save all. All right, so now that we did that, it's time for us to start doing our favorite part, the command itself. So first thing that you want to do is you want to get the player. Without the player, you can't do much with the command. So to get the player, you, you do player. Now we get to now player is the available type. First, let's import it, and then sendo is the person who sent it. So we're going to do sendo since the player that we want to get sent it. We do player. I don't know. We could do sendo, but that's already taken. Instead, we're going to do p. And then play -o, and then sendo. I could I would make it sendo if you make it sendo though. 
as you can see, it has a conflict. And we don't want send to you. So we'll just do P because P is a lot more simple. All right, now we need to check if the player is actually a player. Because we don't want anybody from the console to do it. So, so what we do now is do if exclamation mark, parentheses, P, um, instance of player, instance, I spelled that long, and I forgot the N. There we go. And then instance of player, I believe it is, is capital P. Okay, there we go, capital P. Now semicolon, well actually no, no semicolon. We're not gonna do it like that, I mean, here. You could do semicolon and just put like, log into the console like, plugin dot logo dot info and then do like, only players can use that uh, command. And then you can do that, like, and you can do this, but we're not gonna do this. Instead, we're gonna do a way like this. And then we're just going to return true. Or you could just do that, which is what I normally do when I do it. So now it checks that. Now we need to see what command they typed in. So I'm gonna do if. Hold on a second, I'm gonna enter there. And we're gonna do if. Uh, now we need parentheses. If, let's see. Uh, command. <clears throat> if command dot get name. Now we need to see what it equals dot equals, I like to do a null case because, I mean, and then I'm gonna have the command be CMD, but like if they type CMD or CMD, it, would, it, it wouldn't matter, but I like to do a all lower case when doing it. There we go. All right, so now we check to see if the command is uh, slash CMD. So this would be all command right here. So when, when they do that command, what we're going to be doing now is sending them a message. So to do that, we're going to do p, which is player, dot send message. And we're, and we're going to send them a message here. So we're going to send them, we're going to tell that player, you made your first command. Congratulations, you made your first command. Good job. But you may want to color it because this will just be white when you do it. We want color, but we'll have it be green. So to do that, we just add a plus sign here. And before the plus sign, we do set color dot green. There we go. It should, if you do it like I did, it should automatically import it. If not, if you didn't do it like me and typed it in manually, and let's get rid of that, all you have to do is, like again, import it. Hello, let's get rid of those extra spaces. And there we go. So you made your first command, and boom, you're done. That's all you need to do right now for this. So you just save it. Now, before we do anything with it, you need to go to main. And so what I'm actually going to do is create a method. So I'm gonna go down here and do public void um uh, see was it still I'm just gonna call it was it still and then and then I'm gonna add in git command cmd and then dot set executor and then we'll set the executor to new C, CMD command, command, and then 
this. I'm sorry if you hold that. I just got a text message and my phone buzzed right next to me. Um, yeah. I won't answer it because I'll just answer them later. But, yeah. Hopefully you guys didn't hear that. Alright. Now that should be it. Oh, but I just, I import it without saying anything. You need to import command the class too. Then you save it. And there you go. Now, this wouldn't really work yet, so we have to do it on enable is register. There you go. It's all set up. I like to do it like this just because. And yeah. All right, so now it's time for us to make do the listeners. Or the action listener, as it's called. I call it listeners. So once again, we're going to do the same method of creating a package. And this time it's going to be me that why you did be living dot tutorial dot lesson listeners finish. And then now we're going to do new class. And let's do um on join. Now we can do the same exact way that we did before, which is a very simple way of doing it, of adding here. So we can just like click that button and it would add it for us. And that'd be really simple for us, for just us to do that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is uh, search up the listener. Listener. Now, this doesn't do any code for us like the other one did. It just import, implement, 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 oh, sorry, I butchered that. Implements listener for us. All right, so now let's get ready to it. So I'm gonna do on join, and it's gonna be public class uh, join listener. And then now we're gonna do <clears throat> do player join event. So player join event, and then event, and then there we go. Why do I do class? <laughs> I meant void. And then you have to do at event. Handle at the top. I mean, I should have done that first, but oh, event handle. I you have to have the H capitalized. You do have to in, import event handle. So if you do the capital first, make sure you import it. And then you also have to import player join event. There we go. Now, just like all command, we need to go and grab the player. Now, it's a different method than we use, so it would be player save variable. We're gonna use P again. So P equals this time player event dot get player. Get that there and semicolon. We're gonna have to once again input player. And there we go. Now we have our player. Now what we're going to do is we are going to see if the player has joined. If the player has joined, then we're just going to send them welcome back. If the player hasn't joined, we're going to say to them, welcome welcome to our server. And so it's simple to do that. Now, if you want to do it simply, you can just create a string name equals p dot get name. And that would just get the player name. And so I'm going to do that for this tutorial just because. It would be easier to do. Alright. So now we're going to do an if statement. So we're going to do if. Once again, exclamation mark. Which means if player has not played before. And I want to do the if statement. So if the player has not played before. We're going to send them a message. So we're, gonna, so we're going to do. Send them a message. And send the message to the server. So to send the message to the server. We're going to do bucket dot get server and then we're going to do broadcast 
message and then there we go that should be good import bucket I think All right. I actually think I need to do this all right that's why um we gotta do the plugin now so it's just like the same thing with the command uh we're gonna do private main plugin semicolon and then import once again and then we do public i believe it is public yeah public and then we'll do on join main plugin and there we go we're going to import it like this and now we're going to do this dot plugin equals plugin semicolon there we go so now it just says look i believe uh let's see now maybe we don't need the plugin Actually, we don't need the plugin, do we? Yeah, okay, we don't need the plugin, it turns out, but we still do need it. That's right. Alright. I don't often uh, broadcast much in my plugins. Alright, so now we're going to do please welcome. Alright, now we need to do chat color again. So let's do chat co color dot. See here, what color do we want? Let's get aqua plus, um, let's see here, name. There we go. Now we're gonna do a plus again. Check color dot blue. And, you know, I actually have to do a plus sign. Now this. And now in here, we're gonna do hello, uh, exclamation mark. All right. Make sure you have a space here. And before this, we're actually going to have this here. Check color dot blue plus that. So this would be please welcome name to the server. So else, so else statement, else. And so if the blue has on the server, we're just gonna send them a chat message. Send message and welcome back. And then we're just gonna do chat chat color dot not gold. Um, yeah, let's do gold. Now we just gotta plus add it all together, and there we go. We got our first. Actually, less than all, so we just gotta save it, and there we go, it's good. So now I wanna go back over to our main class, and once again in the register here, we are going to put bucket dot get server, then dot get plugin manager. And we'll do such what I'm gonna do dot web just events and we're gonna, now we're going to do new uh, on join then we'll do this comma this now and that was a semicolon and import this. We do problem import bucket two. There we go. Now just for some reference here, that you can do double dash to do a comment. So this is it's like this is a comment for those of you who don't know what Java. And so I'm just gonna comment between these because I'd like to have it organized. And so I'm just gonna put less than those listeners and then like that no reason to do that just saying that it might be a little help more helpful to do this so now 
that we did this, we need to export it and see if it works on our server. So what I'm going to actually do is right click, refresh, make, I always refresh it before I do it. Well actually, before you do that, we need to change the plug in that YML, that's right. So now we need to do commands, I believe it is, and I'll plug in that YML. We, so we need to do commands. Now, no tab, remember that, no tab. You may want to do tab, but tabs are not supported. As you can see, it's red right here, which is a nice feature. So that means, oh, it doesn't work. So instead of doing tab, we're just going to do four spaces. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be doing CMD. And then, and then the CMD, four spaces again. Actually, I don't think it needs four spaces. I think it's just one. Yeah. Then description. It's not valid. Oh, yeah. There we go. Description. And then. All right. Do this here. Then we're going to do add leases. It says, is that light? I think I spelled that light. Okay, so for Alicia says, I'm gonna do that. Now for the description, we're gonna do sends a uh, message to the player. And now for here, we're gonna be doing this. So it could be command or C. And what this means is, what else would players enter to do the same command? Same exact thing. Once again, you're going to want to save it. Now minimize it. You're going to want to refresh, like I said before. Now that's all refresh and save. Now we can export it. Just click next. And then we're going to finish it again in the plugins folder. Yes, I want to replace it. Okay. It will always say that there are warnings. That's okay. As it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to open up our tutorial servers, which is up here. And before I do that, I'm actually going to delete alter chat just so that it's a lot easier for us to find it. And then we're just going to do start. And wait for it to load out. Oh. It may take a bit to load, but it shouldn't be that long. Alright, so I'm going to minus this. And open up Minecraft. As you can see though here, uh, play. As you can see here, uh, it says tutorial enabling tutorial version 1.0. The plugin has been enabled. So I'm gonna minus this out here. Also try V, v, v. Okay. Now we're gonna open up multiplayer. And we'll do direct connect once again. Local ho host. Wait for that to load in. All right, now we're here, and so it says welcome back. Now I've joined before, so it knows I joined. So it says welcome back to me. But if I haven't joined before, it wouldn't have worked. I mean. It would have it would have said some said welcome to the entire server. So if I actually do such PL, which is plugins, I see tutorial. So you can do such help tutorial. You can see CMD. And when you type in the command, it says you made your first command, which is great. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial here. If you and yeah, so next tutorial, next episode, I'll show you how to use config files. We won't be using con like config files like customizing messages and everything. So next episode will be config files, which is episode three, and I think the episode after that would be. Hmm, I don't really know what the episode after that would be. 
see if I can get any ideas of what I want to do next episode before we end it. Uh, see you. Oh, I know. Teleporting the player and adding potion effects. So next, so episode four, three would be config files, which would take up the entire episode, and then teleporting the player and adding potion effects, which would be easy. So, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you guys in the next one. As you can, all right. Of course, like I said before, all you have to do is slash stop and then enter and it stops it for you that great am i right all right